Today I'm going to show you how to bind one of these controllers to the DJI Mini 3 Pro and it's the same process whether you're using the original controller for the Mavic Mini 2, the DJI RC N1, or using the DJI RC with the built-in screen. The process is exactly the same. So I'm going to show you on this controller as this is the controller that I wanted to move to. Now here's a stern warning. If you plan on getting DJI Care for your Mini 3 Pro and I don't know why you wouldn't, you absolutely want to do this before you activate it. So first step is going to be to powering on your DJI Mini 3 Pro. So power that baby on and then you're going to want to take your controller and you're going to want to power the controller that you want to use with your Mini 3 Pro. So assuming it's the controller that isn't binded yet, you're going to turn your controller on. If it's the DJI RC N1, you're going to want to plug in your phone to the controller. If it's the regular DJI RC, then you just turn it on and power it up. Once you have the drone and the controller powered up, first thing you're going to want to do is go over to your controller or your phone on the controller and tap on connection guide. Then you're gonna to wanna to tap on the DJI Mini 3 Pro icon. It's gonna start searching for your aircraft. Don't worry, it's not gonna find it because you aren't paired yet. So let it run through its search and then after a little bit on the bottom, it's gonna say in blue, unable to connect to aircraft. So you're gonna to wanna to click on that button. Once you click on that button, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is on your drone that should be powered on already, you're going to hold down the power button for four seconds. Once you do that, it's not gonna power off, it's actually gonna start beeping. And then when you do that, then hit the pair button on the controller, and then your controller's gonna start beeping. It's gonna take a few seconds, sometimes it may take closer to 20, 30 seconds to actually bind to the DJI Mini 3 Pro. However, it's a very simple process because once you do that and it's paired, you're good to go. You're gonna notice you have a live camera feed, you're gonna notice everything works. There are some advantages to using this controller over the DJI RC, and I'll go over it in another video. I'll link it to the description below once it comes out. It's a very simple process if you don't have DJI Care or you haven't activated it yet to do the binding as you saw. And I recommend doing this if you're gonna switch controllers before you activate DJI Care. That way, whatever controller you've bound to your drone is going to be the controller that's covered under DJI Care. So I hope that I've answered some of your questions today. If you have more, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. And if you got knowledge and value out of today's video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos on the channel. Till next time, my name's Jeff Fagan. Thank you for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next video.